What's up everybody? My name is Shadow Phoenix. Welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to some Planet Coaster gameplay. Uh, first thing I want to say is I'm so sorry for everybody who was expecting a Planet Coaster quick build today. Uh, let me talk about that a little bit before we kind of get into what we're doing today. Um, so I went to do a Planet Coaster quick build today and I went through all my, my inspiration folder that I have. And I just looked through every single thing and I looked through everything that people had submitted me and I just... There just wasn't anything there that I, I felt like building. So I was like, well, I need to do a video today. What can I do? And then I remembered something I saw last week that was, it just really caught my eye. And I was like, I want to build that. So I kind of come up with a new idea. So instead of doing like a, a quick build with a different building or something like that every single week, um, I've decided to make like a month long project. Uh, so each, well, there'll be four episodes a month. You know, obviously the first one's today, since it's the first of the month, is a perfect time to start this. And it would be one giant build, but cut into four different sections, basically. Uh, so four parts of this one giant build, and it's going to be a month-long thing, and I think you guys are going to kind of enjoy it. So, let's kind of get into the meat and bones and the potatoes of what we're going to be doing today, and that is this thing right here. So, this is... A new log flume that is going to be coming to Luna Park at Coney Island with it by 2020 and this was announced like last week with all their future plans like their expansions and stuff for the next couple years and this immediately caught my eye and I just think it's a very beautiful log flume uh, I it's very classic looking it reminds me of uh, well it reminds me of the old Luna Parks with the old uh, the boats and stuff that they used to have, those splash boats and stuff, and I, I really, really like it. So I wanted to, as soon as I saw this, I was like, I want to build that, and that's what we're going to do. So we're going to start off today's episode by basically building the layout of the coast, or I keep saying coaster, uh, of the log flu. Uh, is it a coaster? Nah, it's a log flu. Anyway, uh, we're going to build the the basic layout for it and then next week we're going to come back and we're going to start actually adding some details and stuff and then we're going to go from there. So the entire project should take about the entire month divided up like I said into four different episodes and that's what we're going to be doing. Um, we're going to see how this goes for this month and then next month since it is Halloween next month it's October my favorite month we're going to be doing something a little bit more Halloween related so can't wait to do that one but in the meantime let's get started let's head over to our planet coaster empty map and let's get started building shall we alrighty guys so with every new creation that I do I always start with a blank map typically I always choose deciduous but it doesn't really make a huge difference I just kind of like the deciduous for these kinds of builds uh, and we are going to start off with a log flume now, one of the things I am going to say is there's no way I, I don't think I'm going to get this to be the exact track layout that is probably going to be in the actual ride. Um, it is difficult to do because we only have so much we can actually do with these pieces here in Planet Coaster. Specifically the log flume, uh, you can't really get them too small. So we're kind of stuck with what we have. <laughs> uh, also trying to figure out the exact links and stuff and everything too. Um, so I'm going to have to build this just a little bigger than what it actually is in the actual concept art. Um, for one thing, I also noticed, and I didn't actually realize this until after I'd already had done this actual build, but it's only about 40 feet tall is what my understanding is. So the the, ma the maximum height of the entire thing is gonna be about 40 feet tall. So my version, a little bigger. <laughs> I think I went to like 60 feet, I think, on the first one, and then I think I built the smaller um, splashdown section into about 30 feet, which is about half of that. Uh, so I think that's what I did. I can't remember exactly, but anyway, nonetheless. so. I started doing like from the station outward and trying to build that way and then I realized you know what maybe it might be a better idea if I try to build this down like this instead this this will probably be the better option so instead I built backwards and that was able to get me a little closer to the layout that the actual log flume is going to have uh, or at least somewhat close like I said uh, I'm restricted to only the pieces and the size of the pieces and stuff that I can use in the actual game. Uh, I really wish we didn't have these kind of like little lift parts 
like right before and I also wish we could actually do the lifts and stuff the way we wanted to as well but unfortunately we cannot so it is what it is so you know like I said I, I started working backwards and I was able to get fairly close so I don't think it's going to be the exact layout at all but I think it will look pretty close and that's really kind of what we're going for here is just kind of to get as close as we possibly can to the actual design. So here we are, we're building the second, actually technically it's the first drop, uh, but you know, we're also gonna do the second. And that's when I kind of realized I'm not gonna have enough room for the station building, because if you look at the concept art, the, the station building itself is gonna be quite large. It's at least four blocks at least, possibly even more than that across. Um, I'm probably, myself, I'm probably going to go about maybe five blocks across to build the actual centerpiece building. And that is actually going to be the biggest part of the build. Uh, the most detailed part, I should say. And we will probably start on that in the next episode. One thing I really liked about this specific build and this log flume is I, I just love the vintageness of it. It looks like we're going to be taking advantage of a lot of the vintage stuff that was in the, the vintage pack. Uh, that the vintage DLC that Planet Coaster came out with and it kind of gives me an actual you know excuse to use that which is kind of cool because I do like a lot of the stuff that we got I especially love those little arches with the lights on them and we're gonna be able to use those in this build by putting them over top of the lift hill and stuff um, and then of course building that classic you know boardwalk look for our insurance building and cube building and stuff too it's gonna be a lot of fun I think so I think this is going to be a really cool build. I think it's going to be a fun build, and I can't wait to continue on this uh, each week. So, you know, like I said at the very beginning of the episode, it is going to be about four episodes long, and that should do the trick, I think. Um, in fact, I may not even need all four, but uh, yeah, it's, so it's just going to be a month-long build. Um, I may kind of also, maybe instead of doing one of these each week, I may also throw in maybe a couple of park tours into it as well, uh, because I have gotten a couple more submissions that are really good, and so I need to try to figure out where I can work those in during the week as well. But, uh, alright, so yeah, that's uh, just kind of adjusting the pieces around here a little bit. You know, now that I've got a mostly finished you know thing uh, this is the section that I was kind of like iffy on um, I also I wasn't happy with having to build that turnaround up at the very top it's so large I really wanted it to be smaller but it's to, in order to fit this thing down here in between the actual the, uh, in between the actual lift hill and the drop and then also to get the station building in there I had to use the longest pieces possible to make that turnaround <sighs> Really wish I didn't have to do that, but <laughs> um, I don't understand why they didn't give us uh, the ability to make like the smallest pieces possible, like the four meter pieces on the log flume. It just doesn't make any sense to me. So here I am doing the uh, the first turnaround before you hit the small drop right here, and I was looking at it and I was like, you know what, that's kind of extended out, and it is kind of coming out at an angle. So I finish it off straight like that, but I just I wasn't happy with it like that so I do go back and kind of fix that more of an angle and I try to adjust these a little bit here too uh, so never forget that you can actually adjust the curves once you get it in in a basic design with the log flume you can go back in and and like grab the pieces and like stretch them out to kind of where you need it so that was something I was able to do in here and kind of get a little more of what I wanted basically and this is where I'm going to try to, is it, mm, no, okay, well, I, I do go back and fix that in a minute, but anyway, um, yeah, I, I think this is where I'm going to, yeah, so I, this is where I finally decide I am going to kind of make that extended out a little bit and kind of have it at a slant, because if you look at the actual concept art, it does kind of slant outward like that, so I was like, okay, so we're going to do this, and then once I get that, and then I'll just grab all of those pieces, smooth them out, and that will be the final version of the layout. I might go back in later and maybe change a couple of these things and make the lifts, uh, the 
the big drop maybe a little shorter and the smaller drop a little bit shorter as well because like I said it is looking at the stats on it they said it's gonna be about 40 feet high and I built this one at least about 66 feet high I don't remember the stats but anyway nonetheless that is what we're going to be doing so I appreciate you guys for uh, for watching the video and I hope you guys are going to look forward to the rest of this project uh, hopefully we can get some more in next week and we'll get into the nitty-gritty and the actual details of everything. Uh, in the meantime, if you haven't already followed me here on uh, YouTube, make sure you do click that button and make sure you hit that bell to be notified of when I have a video comes out. Because it could be any time during the day because I do do daily videos, pretty much daily videos anyway. Sometimes I'm a little slow on weekends, but uh, I've been doing daily videos for a while now. And uh, yeah, it, it just I'm glad you guys are watching and everything like that. Um, in the meantime, wherever you guys are in the world, good morning, good afternoon, good evening, and good night. Thanks, guys.